walking around the Christmas tree at the That looks so good. Y'all want to learn how to make this? Let's get into it. So the ingredient list is pretty long, so I'm going to leave everything listed in the description box below. But for the main part, you're going to need ground turkey, green beans, potatoes, eggs, you know, stuff to make me laugh. Well, this meal. <laughs> So I did use extra ground turkey because I wanted a nice size meatloaf, but if you don't want to, you can just use that one pack. So right now I'm just going to chop up all of my veggies, um, a half an onion, one bell pepper, and then like three to four cloves of garlic. And yes, I washed off my produce. You can also use minced garlic, but I like the fresh garlic, so that's why I opted to use fresh garlic. But if you don't like chopping up all your stuff, you can certainly go to Walmart and or your nearest grocery store and get the pre-chopped frozen or fresh onions and bell peppers and garlic. It's up to you. So I am going to saute up my veggies just so they can get them nice and soft. You can just automatically put it in your meatloaf mixture, but I wanted to cook them. I season it with salt, pepper. So now for the turkey meatloaf mixture. So I use ground turkey. You can use ground beef, um, ground chuck, whatever meat that you desire. Um, I did end up using both pans as I stated I needed to because I was feeding more people. The top part of my meat was still kind of frozen, so I popped it in the microwave to defrost. It did not cook the meat all the way through. It just took the ice off of it. Um, but I did season it with salt, pepper, um, sloppy mama seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of soy sauce because I didn't want it to be overly salty. And I think that's it. Um... I did go back in and add a little bit more seasonings because I felt like my hand was too light. It came out very, very good. It was busting y'all for real. <laughs> So now that you've added in your bell peppers, you now want to going to add in two eggs and then measure out or eyeball rather your breadcrumbs um i typically do like a cup of being that i don't measure out anything i just go with the texture of the meat you don't want it to be too tough then you're just gonna dry out your meat and it's not gonna be good you want to add the right amount of breadcrumbs so it can be super duper moist and you really only want to add enough to bind it together so it like doesn't fall apart so yeah So like I don't have a loaf pan, so um, I pretty much just eyeball my shape of how I want my meatloaf to look. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it's a nice little oval shape and everything is packed in and it's nice and firm and, you know, it's ready to go in the oven at this point. I did add a little bit of chicken stock at the bottom just so it doesn't like stick to the pan or burn out or anything like that. And it also adds juices into the meat, which also helps your meatloaf to be very nice and moist. So now your meatloaf goes in the oven at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. And now we're going to speed clean because you cook, I mean, you clean as you cook, you cook as you go. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, you clean as you go. <laughs> um, you clean as you go, y'all. We don't want to save dishes to the very last minute. It saves on time and it just keeps your kitchen nice and clean and making sure that you do not cross contaminate anything. Make sure you clean out that sink because, you know, stuff was in it. <laughs> what is she doing? Okay, she watches me clean. Well, the people in this house clean up too much to know to wipe off. The Look at her. <laughs> okay, so now time for the potatoes. I love the baby potatoes. I love leaving the skin on. And if you don't like that, you can definitely take them off. Um, 
I am going to wash them. These are the Honey Gold Bite Size Potatoes, y'all. I got this recipe on TikTok. They're just so fire. Okay, with the rest of the potatoes, I did clean those off. We're just going to peel the skin off and then chop them up into bite-sized pieces so it can match the potatoes. Um, I did end up chopping up the um, bite-sized potatoes so that they could all cook at the same time. So right here, I'm just smashing up some garlic to make garlic butter. In a pan or a pot, you're gonna add like a fourth a cup of butter and let that melt down. And then you're gonna add in your garlic and just let that get nice and toasty. You do not want to have burnt garlic, y'all. It's not flavorful at all. That is how it's supposed to look. That's it, that's all. So with that, I am gonna add in my heavy whipping cream and my milk. Um, this is going to be the liquid for the mashed potatoes. I'm also, I'm also going to season it with garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper, and some ranch dressing um, seasoning. Y'all, so good. You adjust the seasonings as you go, and it's going to come out so fire. I wish I had some parsley just for color's sake, but we ain't have any, so that's it. That's all. Now, once your potatoes are fork tender, you're just going to smash them all. I don't like my super smashed. I don't like puree mashed potatoes. I like bites, okay? I like to know that I smashed those myself. So, you're going to add in your cream. Sorry if you hear pacing in the background, but you're going to add in your cream. Mix it up. Also, sorry if you hear my mom. Um, add in some more milk and seasonings and just adjust it as you like. Um, I did add some cheese because I love shredded cheese. Um, you can do Parmesan cheese or Gruyere cheese. Um, I had cheddar on hand and or mozzarella, but I had sharp cheddar on hand, so that's exactly what I used. And you're going to mix that up and set that to the side. Now we're going to add in probably like a fourth of a teaspoon and or a cup of butter. Um, to that, we're going to put in our frozen, fresh, or canned, whichever one you're using. I use frozen green beans. I use two packs and some leftovers, but it's good. Then to that, I am also going to be adding in some chicken stock and then seasoning with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and then just letting that cook through. And um, that's pretty much it for the green beans. Y'all, I legit do not measure out anything. I just eyeball it, and if I need more seasonings, I add more seasonings. So, for the glaze on top of the meatloaf, you're going to do equal parts of ketchup and barbecue sauce, and then you're going to add a dash of hot sauce. Just a dash, y'all. So, you're going to mix that up, and then you're going to take out your meatloaf, which looks amazing. Y'all going to see in three, two, one. Look at that. So far, y'all. You're just going to take that. I took off the drippings. Uh, the fat that came off the turkey meat, I took all that off and then I emptied out the pan of the juices and then I just put the sauce all over top, y'all, and you're going to pop that back in the oven for a good 10 minutes just so the sauce can like glaze on top. Now in this pan, you're going to add like a tablespoon of butter to a tablespoon of flour and that is technically called a roux. So right now I'm making a gravy and then you're going to take the drippings from the turkey meat or the meatloaf rather and you're going to add that in there. It was nice and watery, not nice and watery, it was watery, so I added in some turkey gravy to like a cup of water. I should have added the rest of the chicken stock, but I didn't realize until afterwards. I am going to take some of this browning sauce. It just gives the color of gravy to me. I'm going to say you can add it to all soups and stuff of that, stuff like that, but we're going to set that to the side and finish cooking. Take out the meatloaf and y'all, we're done. We are done. The mashed potatoes is mashed potato in, the green beans is green bean in, and the meatloaf is doing what it needs to do, okay? And that gravy, fire. Y'all, this is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you do, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to see me doing a little bit more cooking videos, let your girl know down in the comment section below, and I will get them out to y'all. When I tell y'all it was busting, it was busting. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!